Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we have for Fairy Fencer F, Reframe Core, which has now been officially confirmed to be releasing into the West in spring of 2023. This is a game that released originally in Japan just earlier this year, back in September, and we have simply been waiting for a direct confirmation from Idea Factory International on when it was going to be making its way to the West since they did originally reveal that there would be a localized version made down the line, but we didn't necessarily know when that would be. And now we have direct confirmation from the developers as a brand new announcement trailer was posted that is officially set to release in spring of 2023. If you are a fan of the Fairy Fencer F series, you should be able to know that this is a brand new story with multiple routes where you follow Fang and his friends through multiple routes and all new stories. As they continue their search for their resurrected goddess, will you be able to find harmony or dissonance where fate is in your hands? Also, according to the brand new blog update that they provided us with, they give us a little bit of an overlook for what the game will be about. They mentioned that this is a highly strategic battles will be unfolding on fields with multiple levels of elevation. In addition, brand new characters in brand new direction, uh, feralized and different elevations of the game's key features will be utilizing songs in order to be able to gain the upper hand. The strengthened state known as Feralize returns. This is something that has been available in previous uh, games in the series. By utilizing the gauge and activating the Feralize options, your stats will gain significant boost. There's also special kills that can be only used during the Feralize states, and since each character has their own attacks, range, and brand new effects, understanding what makes them unique is the key to victory. The fairy song fairy area and the special skills can also be significantly strengthened by all allies within a certain range. Since it's only affecting units within that said range, it is important for your positioning as you are wait for units to gather near you for you to be able to maximize your power throughout. So not only are they bringing in some different tactics from previous games, but they're also completely reworking them for a brand new audience and this brand new entry. When it came to the original release in Japan, it did receive relatively popular reviews. It wasn't necessarily seen uh, as a you know full-on replacement to the original titles, but it did add and supplement across the board. With that said, though, of course, with the Western audience, you know things are a little bit different. So we're just gonna have to see just how well uh, it, it is ultimately received here in the West. But that's about all the information that we have for now. It is set to release in spring of 2023. And at the very least, we do know that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5 as well. I believe a PC version will be made available at a later date. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!